So guys, let me quickly explain what we will develop at, at next. And here we, I have already have a state which most of the stuff works. Let me show it to you very quickly. And we can use the pistol pose. Works perfectly fine. Like in the UE4 menu, we can use the torch pose. It also works fine. We can use the two-handed pistol pose. It also works fine. So no issues, correct placements and so on. And I will show you how you can get it working. For that, we will use those guys here. These are basically editor scripts where we can later set let me, um, the animation sequence we want to edit, the skeletal mesh we want to use, the health object skeletal mesh or static mesh we want to use. And here we can select frames basically. And then set the health object location with the scene component here and move it around. And magically, this is what we will cover, is if you click on this get relative health object location button, a uh, location rotation button, then we will get those values related to the hand right bone. And then adapt the IK handgun bone in all keyframes if we click on this button here then it will magically edit our animation keyframes or if we want to work on those values and tweak them a little bit we can use those yeah those those vectors and rotators to edit them or we can also share them what i will do is for the videos is Give, do, give you guys these values here and you can do a right click here copy and for example if you oh what wait which pose was it it was the torch pose so this is this one here basically so and if you lose them kind of or cannot get it working i can remove them and if you do a right click and paste you will get back those values and that's the ones i used or you get also the relative offsets basically like the location and rotation and you can also apply them here with the if you copy those strings from the descriptions of the videos and then you should be able to get it working as well even if you have issues with or can you can you can compare um the values against your values and maybe you find better values than me then please share them in the, the comments below if you say these fit more to the hands or so because the UE5 many hands are a bit different which you see here so we have here some intersection areas and yeah we could edit the animations in Maya as well a little bit but that's something I will not cover in this series maybe in the future series I don't know I don't know yet how to edit those animations in Maya or Blender but yeah, that still can be done. And for that, if you go here, we will also implement those blueprints here. And this is basically the base where we set the skeleton mesh. And the others one are the specifics like animation, held object, and so on. And the specific values. And then, yeah, you can work directly in the scene view to edit your animations if you have misplaced held objects like I still have with the bow for example this looks really weird but we will get them working and yeah it's quite a long series <laughs> I think in total I already recorded let me see um, oh <laughs> quite a lot so 22 or 23 videos and I'm still not yet done to explain every detail and how we can use the tools and so on. We will still extend them during the series to get everything working. And you might wondering now, oh, he's talking so, so long for sockets. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, we will not use sockets because I tried this one as well. I know the solution, but it's very confusing and I think it does not scale that well. So let me, how can I remove the preview mesh? Remove all attached assets, yes. So here we have the pistol pose 
and we can use the M9 skeleton and attach it to the hand, right? It looks it looks okay -ish and it's fine. And you might also notice that we will still have the same values like we have for the sockets with this tooling here. Here we will have the same quite similar values. But what I don't like at the solution is we have to introduce a socket for every held object we want to use. So maybe you want to use two pistols, then you need to introduce two sockets, one for the right hand, one for the left hand, and also extend ELS a lot <laughs> for every overlay state, basically. Because if we go to the on overlay state change, we call the parent function, and then we go to update held object, and update held object is basically where we attach the held objects to the hands dependent on what what yeah what held object we want to use and currently in the unreal engine marketplace asset from als there's no option where you can set from the outside a socket name so i introduced a new argument here which is called custom socket name and then I get the name here and say if it is not a none or not an empty name, then it, this one returns true and we use this pass here and set the socket name here. So you can use virtual bone names or socket names or bone names with this node. Attach component or component. I did not know this as well, but yeah, that's still how it works. It says socket name, but you can attach everything you want. And then your health object will be attached to the corresponding bone but you still need to know which socket you want to use and you need to figure out a good socket location for all the health objects you want to introduce because they are very different for example for the rifle uh, let's also use an animation preview animation here so um, i think it's called m4 a1 pose Yes, this one. So stop playing it, please. And we use the aiming pose here. So as you see, the pistol pose, of course, does not work very well. And we can remove all attached assets and we use the rifle here. So it's M4, A1. And you see already that we will have some intersection areas with the thumb, left thumb. And there's also no possibility to correctly use the IK system, hand IK system with those with this method. And that's why I did not like it. And I want to use the IK handgun bone as well, like the initial creator of ALS does, but somehow <laughs> during retargeting, yeah, the locations of those bones get messed up and we need to edit them manually and constrain them again which we can do very easily with the tools or with the scripts here i shared before i only worked on these three poses for the two hand poses i'm still trying to find a solution and once i have the solution i will share it with you guys and also make a video about it but until now <laughs> you should learn how those scripts work and hopefully you can get stuff working as well. And then you hopefully will see same results like I do here. So these these are working quite fine. Touch pose works. It's quite good already. Two-handed pistol pose. Crouching works. So everything works. And I think yeah, mantling needs to be improved a little bit. But so far we are very, very far in the series. When you have those toolings and working, then you can fix the stuff in the engine without leaving and dealing with export and importing animations. And I still hope you will like the sessions. We will cover a lot of topics and it might be a bit overwhelming for you, but keep it slow, lean back, watch the videos and maybe watch them again and again and again until you know how the stuff works. And I'm also thinking about, yeah, publishing those plugins which we develop here that so that you can download it 
and use it for your own projects for free but i'm not sure yet and also i also wanted to show how the stuff could be implemented and how you can get it working on your own and then you are able to extend the, the scripts for your own use cases and automate stuff like i do currently here because now it's just a few clicks and bam overly state works the pistol pose here to end pistol pose was done in two minutes so be excited about the new videos and the following videos. See you in the first session where we start developing those tools.